moment involving a megaphone where a New Haven City employee allegedly took over Nola Drive in Westville, sporting a Palestinian flag and calling for an end to the war in Gaza. She stood in front of my house with a megaphone and started screaming. What's that if not Nazi behavior? Well, you do have a sign that says you support Israel. The man behind the camera is Rabbi Elhanan Popko, who just moved to the area. People came, brought us cake. Uh, it's, it's been lovely, welcoming. That is up until last Sunday when Popko's wife noticed a lot of noise. <laughs> right outside their home. My mind is racing, trying to figure out who is this and why did they come here? Because, uh, you know, when you're with your family, it's just a very scary thought. Who's, who's targeting me? Rabbi Popko approached the woman, now identified by city leaders as Tabisa Rich, and the man with her. They told them they live up the street. Popko believes they came to his home because of this sign posted in his lawn. This is not about being Jewish or not Jewish. It's about being neighborly. Uh, it's about making sure that a neighborhood is a place where everyone is welcome, where people are not targeted because of their opinions or their identity. Rabbi Popko says there's a time and place for these demonstrations, but this wasn't it. His family called police to break it up. And when he looked on Rich's social media after the altercation. I mean, she has posts where she says just to her followers, I know y'all have uh, pockets that are lined with Jewish money. Uh, that's just anti-Semitic. We tried getting in touch with Rich and reaching out on social media with no response. <laughs> In the meantime, Rabbi Popko says Rich called for her followers to come back to this neighborhood another time for the same thing. Last night I was putting my daughter to sleep and she's like, I'm having scary dreams about that scary lady. And um, I just would want to ask that person, like, was that your intention? Mayor Justin Elliger is responding to this situation, saying in part, quote, while people have very different and strongly held views on the war between Israel and Hamas, there is an appropriate time, place and manner in which to express them. In my view, he says, Miss Rich exercised extremely poor judgment in this regard. In addition, several of her personal statements and social media posts are incredibly offensive to our Jewish residents and the wider New Haven community. Now we are in New Haven, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.